everybody, it's Frozen, and thanks for joining me. Today, I wanna to talk about taking your trekking pole straps off of your pole. Now, why would I wanna do that? For the past two to maybe even three years now, I have not used these straps on my trekking pole. For me, I just adjust my hand way too frequently. When I'm going up hills, I hold down here. When I'm going down hills, I hold up top, and I'm constantly switching my hands when it comes to filming for YouTube. So these straps really don't serve a purpose for me. I honestly never got the whole reason why we needed to be locked into a hiking pole. I get it with ski poles because sometimes you can lose them and that's just something you don't want to lose when you're going downhill on skis. But for hiking, really, for me, I see no point to this. Now, everybody's different and if you want to use your trekking pole straps, by all means use them. This video is meant for just somebody who wants to take these off. Now, a lot of people cut these things off, whether it's to save weight or to be ultralight, or in my case, just they just don't like to use the straps. And for me, I don't like that option. I don't like taking a pair of scissors and just cutting it off. There are several ways to take these uh, straps out. I'm gonna show you the cleanest way, uh, the what I do, and you will be able to put these back on by the time you're done watching this video. So with that, let's get into it. Really, the only tool you're gonna need is a small Phillips screwdriver. But if you really wanna make it clean, what I recommend is you get your small screwdriver, you get an Allen key, and you get a hammer. Let's begin. All right, so to start this process, what we're gonna do is we're going to lift up on the strap. So this is where you would normally adjust the length of your strap. Just gonna lift that up, and that exposes a small screw underneath of it. We're gonna take that screw completely out with our screwdriver. Make sure you don't lose any of these pieces. We will be putting everything back together after we're done. Uh, after the screw's out, you can just apply some very minor pressure and just pull that strap right out of there. Okay, so that part's done. Uh, you can leave that flipped up. We're not gonna need to deal with that really anymore. This next part, again, you can use your screwdriver to pound this little um, plastic peg out. Or what I like to do so I don't damage any parts is, again, I like to use my Allen key. So we're just gonna start it by hitting the Allen key with the hammer on that little peg. It doesn't take a lot of force, just get it started, and you can see it kind of popping out the other side. So then we can just apply our normal human pressure without the hammer and make sure that piece doesn't get lost. They were just pushing that through, okay? So there's our little peg right here that holds that top part together, all right? And you can actually take that inner piece out now if you wish, or you can wait till the next part. I like to take it out now, keep everything simple. So don't worry about putting this together. There's not a lot of parts and there's only one more step to this. Again, take your Allen wrench or your screwdriver and you're gonna pound the bottom out because what's happened is there's another little peg in here that actually holds this together. If you don't have a um, an end that is thicker than the actual strap. So my end kind of flares out a little bit. You can just kind of pull that through. I could probably pull that through right now, but I've had uh, issues where this just simply doesn't come out. So for lakey poles at least, I will again use my Allen key or Allen wrench, whatever, and pound it just a little bit to get that started. Okay, again, you can see that little plastic peg. Push very gently, see that peg doesn't fly across the room, which is what happened to me last time. And we're gonna separate that. Remember, the longer one goes up top and the shorter one goes on the bottom, okay? From there, we have our strap completely removed. We can store this for later. If we ever wanna re-add it again, it's not damaged. Like I said, some people just cut this off. I just like to have everything very clean whenever I take something apart so I could put it back together. So this pole is actually a little different. I never took these specific ones apart, but you get the idea. This little guy is in between the two poles on that. And it's hard to see because these pieces are so small. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting that back in. Then we'll put the piece down on the inside. All right, I'm just lining this back up. So whenever I push it through, it'll be perfectly in line. Okay. 
All right, just push that through. So I got that piece back in and it's centered now. All right, now that that step's done and that cylinder is at the bottom, we can put our little locking mechanism back together, making sure to line up all the holes. All righty. And we're gonna put our little plastic peg back in, just like before. All right. Use my Allen key to line it up. All right, and just another little tap, and we should be golden. Perfect. All right, and then lastly, I like to just put my screw back in. And just lock that back down. Now to put that all back together, if you decide that this isn't exactly work for you, what we do is this, okay? So I just put the strap underneath of that little cylinder that goes on the bottom, okay? So it's set up exactly like this, if you guys can see that. So the only thing that's over top of this strap right now is that bottom plastic cylinder. Can you see that? Okay. At the end of that strap, you're gonna screw in that little piece right here, okay? So this whole thing looks like that, if you can see it and visualize it, all right? Then what we do is we just literally put the strap down and put that piece right back in. Take our tiny cylinder, put it in there. Okay, and that's it. The strap is working. The strap is back to the way it was before. And you can easily just put that screw back in if you wanted to do it at the end of the step. So that's how you would do that. But for me, I'm gonna take this whole thing apart and just leave it off. So everybody, I hope that helped. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the trail.